hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel actress taiwo akiwande who is popularly known as yetunde wumi has been left with no choice than to call on our loved ones our fans our followers and family to stay clear of an imposter who has been using her name to ask for fun from friends from lovers just to defraud them went ahead to clear the air saying she's not the person asking for fun her account has been hacked she explained that she has been hearing people's accounts get hacked and the people impersonating celebrities to defraud well-meaning nigerians of their hard-earned money actress for me today was really sad in the video she started speaking in the video which she shared and she spoke in yoruba explaining that friends and fans should please she's not the one she has been receiving so many calls from people asking her what does she need the money for what does she want to use the money for had to put out this disclaimer clearing her name and letting people know she is not the one so she doesn't have to get into trouble later in the future she was really sad in the video sharing this and speaking in yoruba she said it has happened like this i usually hear about this it has never happened to me but now it has happened fans and loved ones my name is taiwo akiwande popularly known as yetende wumi please my fans lovers loved ones family friends acquaintance colleagues see my account has been hacked this happened at about 7 pm this night they have been requesting for funds from people on my behalf and impersonating me and since then i haven't rest i've been receiving so many calls from people fans loved ones asking me what i needed the money for am i the one asking for money what happened to me please i beg you with the name of god it's not me but imposters and impersonators out there trying to tarnish my image i'm not the one asking for money my account has been hacked i beg you guys do not respond to any of these people and do not fund them this was yet today with me begging our fans and followers not to respond to anyone or trying to impersonate her as she will never ask them for money and she's not asking anyone for money well, a lot of our fans and lovers have gone ahead to give her hope saying it is well. Well, recently she received an award from a pardon which she shared on her social media page. She was quite delighted, happy and thank God for receiving such honorary award. She said, Alhamdulillah, 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 Rabbi Alamin, Udukbe Fon Lohan Luri Award Timogba, Niano from the 2nd october 2022 at civic center ibado i really appreciate all my beautiful and lovely friends that stood by me my wonderful colleagues that stood by me thank you all momo luru immediately with me so we be eshim gone of course she received so many congratulatory messages her comment section it's in the woman who has been in the industry for a while sure does deserve this award and it's an award for yoruba heritage it was really appreciated by it today with me as she thanks our fan loved ones who made it possible for her to be nominated and receiver of this indigenous award today with me who has been in the industry for over 40 years recalling that in 2015 rated her birthday when she clocked 55 and also 35 years on stage says she cannot deny any of god's blessings and mercy over her despite all she has been through and one of the worst and bitter experience for her till today was her experience when she was caught with several hard drugs called cocaine well she said a lot of people already know this and she doesn't really like talking about it but she eventually gave details into how it all happened when she was caught the amount of drugs she had to excrete from her system it's in the woman whose real name is asan Akiwande, born in february 22 1960 she grew up in egbado and ibadan with her parents mrs shukura akiwande the actress who made her debut in the tv yoruba series Fikon when it is said she gave thanks to god for his love and mercy on her it's in the landmark of 35 years as an actress she said many people who started the same time with her are no longer here 
Well, as mentioned earlier, the worst and bitter experience for Wumi Itsunde was during a period of darkness. She explained that one of the things that pushed her to this kind of life was because of poverty. In one of the interviews, she was asked what really pushed her into the act. She said, maybe I allowed my love for money to get too much over me. I was actually very broke at that time. Then I could not boast of 10,000 in my savings. It was that bad. It was actually a temptation and I thank God for his mercies. It's a miracle that the likes of Yetune Wumi can still stay relevant in the Nollywood industry. When this whole matter started, there were so many stigmatization, but nevertheless, she didn't let that get to her and she pulled on. She said, it was a sad experience for me to remember because the event almost cost me my life. I ended up serving a two year jail term. Really, I lost so many things to that incident and it did a lot of damage to my image as an actress and even among my colleagues in the industry. It's my only regret in life that I have to get involved in drugs. But I thank God that I came out of the mess after serving a two year jail term. I also thank God that though the situation I found myself was that bad, the news of my drug offense wasn't that of my obituary. Truly, I have learned my lesson the hard way. Lesson learned, I have said it earlier, that I have learned my lesson the hard way. I have learned that nothing in life is permanent, that there is no permanent friend and enemies. During my travels, I learned lessons about the ups and downs of life. For instance, a rich man today can become poor tomorrow, and a poor man today can become rich tomorrow. Even I learned my lesson about death, that though life is good and what to live, that remains the end of the soul. It is the end no matter who you are. It was a really sad story to tell, but I thank God I am still alive to tell the story. Well, this takes a lot of boldness and requires a lot of courage for her to still be able to put her face out there. And yes, Yetune Wumi is still relevant in the Nollywood industry. She is one of the many other older women who plays the role of mothers aunties, grandmas in Nollywood movies. And right now she's calling on fans, lovers to stay clear of this imposter who has been using her name, her image to defraud all our citizens of Nigeria of their hard earned money. She's putting out this disclaimer to let the world know that her account has been hacked. Well, we hope she gets to the root of this and find this imposter. And this imposter and personator should be brought to justice. Well, guys, let's be careful out there. Guys, there you have it. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.